What's going on people? Welcome to another video. It is Saturday. I'm sitting here with a breakfast. If you know, you know, and we're doing another vlog today because I have an easier day today. Finally, this week has been hectic, but let's pull up the calendar and let's see what we will be doing today. So first off, as you can see, I've been making sound trap samples all morning. Essentially what I'm doing here is I'm making beats drums sounds from scratch because when you make sample packs and sell to other people you can't use presets and you have to make everything yourself because otherwise you would be selling someone else's work and breaking the law which i've actually seen a lot of recently but let's not get into that whole discussion now after that i'm doing element learn which essentially is my daily q a over on the element store instagram after that we got a little break here where i'm of course doing gym and oatmeal <laughs> After that, I'm doing element samples. I'm working on that new festival trap wave, whatever you want to call it, pack. I actually need a good name for that. Trap wave? New trap wave? I don't know. After that, I've just got some fun stuff in my calendar today. Like I'm working on a track called Bounce Back. I'm doing an edit of a Lampsy track. And essentially I got some playtime with my Moke here. Um, just trying to do some presets, get some sounds out of it, just get to know it better because I honestly haven't got a lot of time with it yet. Let us get this day started. Gym real quick. All right, we back in the gym. One thing I want to talk about today is something that's very, very undervalued, especially for music artists and producers. Mobility. I do this every day. I keep my shoulders and my hips mobile. It's super important. You're sitting down most of the day and just moving through these motions each day will help you stay mobile, will help you get rid of shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain, knee pain, all that stuff. It's so important to do so i do these every day i've been feeling amazing since i've been doing it for a couple of years to be honest here you see me doing a ridiculous exercise it looks so stupid but it will work wonders i promise try this stuff out it's so good also this one's called hip airplanes i learned it from dr stuart mcgill also what am i listening to when i'm in the gym podcasts always the gym is my one break from making music and listening to music every day and i really like learning stuff do I want this song to say something or is it just kind of like, if that's what the song is? You choose exercise, you choose dieting, you choose training because like Sal always says, you love yourself, not because you don't, you know, it's, and when, we're, when it's driven and by- And essentially it's time to get into the workout. As you can see here, I'm doing the exact same workout I did last Saturday in the vlog. But of course the goal for the workout is to improve upon last Saturday. So I'm moving more weight or doing more reps. And essentially, I also said this in the last vlog, but I'm in kind of like a hypertrophy phase right now. So instead of doing barbell shoulder press or like overhead presses or dumbbells and barbell bench press, I'm doing machines instead because I feel my mind to muscle connection a lot better when doing that. Also, one thing I want you to take note of is the tempo in all the exercises. I'm going low, slow and controlled on the eccentric. And essentially, I could get the same results if I just worked out three times a week, but I really like going to the gym. It's a mental health thing for me as well, because if I didn't go to the gym every day, I would just sit in the studio all day. Time to make some samples. Let's jump back in the studio. A couple hours later, sitting here in the studio, and I just spent all afternoon on two things. One, the perhaps most important thing, I posted six unreleased track demos on my Instagram for people to vote and essentially for me to kind of gauge whether people likes particular songs so I can focus on getting them released before other ones. It was kind of a consensus there, but if you haven't seen it yet, go peep the Instagram six drop ideas. Check it out. One, two, three, skin. 
what I'm doing right here is that I am in the huge sample making project of the Trap Wave Festival pack here. Essentially, what I did today was I processed vocals all day. The other day, I had a session with Naya, who came in and sung some female vocals for that like ethereal, trap, huge, melodic, Sable Valley type sound. I have now processed all the vocals and ended up with 19 loops. I have this kind of like huge sounding future bass type track that I'm working on for the um, <laughs> look at all the layers um, for the um, for the demo track. And so far, it sounds like this. Still working on the mix, still working on making everything um, sound good. But essentially, just to break it down a little bit, because I know you guys requested more production in depth stuff. So like super bendy, glitchy, um, but obviously you can't see the MIDI because I deleted um, the entire track because of CPU issues. And then we have the main group here, which is just mainly just um, serum leads. Cool, still a little bit too resonant. I'm still fixing all the um, the mixing thing on them. My processing of making these leads is, as you can see over here, compression, EQ, distortion, or saturation, compression, EQ, distortion, saturation, compression, limiting, just to clip off the tops, um, and then some um, reverb. And I think a, a clipper sometimes can work better than a compressor in just like clipping off the peaks, off stuff you want to sound aggressive either way. Uh, but of course you gotta be careful when limiting dynamic range of stuff. For the vocal chain, it's pretty much the same as I've broken down in other videos, as you can see over here. Um, essentially it's just a nectar thing because I'm lazy. Spectre, just saturating the highs here. I love this plugin a lot. I'm using the um, tape one here. So I'm using this to saturate with the tape mode. Essentially, you can hear it out here. So this looks like an EQ, but it's actually a selective kind of multi-band saturation with different modes here. Love this plugin a lot. It's It's been tremendous on my vocal mixes. Then I'm running through Auto-Tune, which in theory should actually be before this Spectre, but whatever. Um, we got Pro-Q3, Saturation, Pro-Q3, Multiband Compression, Pro-C2 Compression, Mouth D-Click from Isotope because I heard some clicks on the take and I was lazy. Obviously, usually I do it manually, but in this instance, it was on a lot of the takes, so I just put the D-Click one on it, taming a lot of stuff here. And then the important thing about the vocals are on the group here. I have the Better Maker EQ with my own preset. <laughs> essentially just taking the highs. I always put this on and then adjust, but I'm essentially spreading the side image in some of the um, the vocal highs. Here we have the Isotope Vocal Doubler with the mix knob at 27, just like this for a bit of width, makes the lead vocal sound a lot better. I have the I Heart New York 2 from Baby Audio. Um, just a little bit of like parallel compression that kind of brings the vocal forward. Usually I'm not the biggest fan of parallel compression on vocals, uh, but it can work. You just gotta use it in moderation. Then we have the punch thing here. Essentially just clipping off the top of the vocals. As you can see, it's kind of just set there as a fail safe. So if anything goes above the threshold, it's clipping that off. But I set it manually each time I do a new vocal track. Then we have the Ozone Imager just spreading out the top a little bit. So it's not completely mono. Then the Valhalla Vintage Verb, which I actually recently got. I bought so many reverbs lately. I bought the Vintage Verb Capital Chambers, which is like a $300 plugin, but it sounds really good um especially if you're going for that old school sound um black rooster audio they had a free or they have a free plate reverb uh, which is super cool if you're going for 
a very specific sound. But yeah, I also got that one. Uh, let's see here. Baby comeback for the delay that I automate and then soothe on the end um, that I always put on vocals, almost. But yeah, that's my process of making these vocal samples and my process of making vocals generally. Now it's dinner time and I've got to hop in the kitchen. Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome to Cooking with FM. We got a new setup here. Got a little table, the camera, the lights, everything. We got a little kitchen thing going on here. Now, today we're continuing our theme from last time, and we are cooking $3 dinners. Obviously, I'm in Denmark. If you were in the US, this would probably have been like $8, but inflation has hit us, but not that hard. Today, we're cooking potatoes, chicken. We're cooking some of this beautiful turmeric colored cauliflower. And then I'm essentially just making like a garlic butter thing. Um, super easy dinner, takes like 20 minutes to make. Let's start cooking. What are we doing for the marinade here? We're doing lemon, tiny drop of erythritol, a little bit of salt, doing some black pepper. Going to do some double garlic, which essentially is like fermented garlic. A super basic marinade here. We're doing some onion powder garlic oil, which is crazy. This one, if you can find it, goes hard. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna slice it up to two, and then I'm gonna do a thing where we pre-boil this whole head, and then we throw it on the grill. And of course, you gotta be careful that it doesn't just fall apart but that is my strategy, I think. And we are using some Danish salted butter to make like a garlic butter type situation. I simply do like parsley, garlic, and butter. And that's gonna make your potatoes moist. Bam, there we go. Gotta mash these up a little bit just like a little child would. But the reason why we are mashing these up is actually to have the garlic butter made like a top layer on these mashed potatoes. Putting on the garlic butter here. Essentially just hitting it with a little bit of parsley. The cracks of the black pepper on the chicken. And there we go. That's the meal. Super quick, easy, cheap, go-to, high calorie meal for me, so I'm gonna dig in, eat this food, go for a walk, and then back to the studio time for the evening session. All right, back in the studio to spend some time working on this edit. Essentially, I heard this track on TikTok, linked with the artist and bought his track. I'm actually not sure if I can play this due to like copyright protection, but we'll try. And if not, the audio might just get muted, but we'll figure it out. Essentially, I took the original track, I doubled the break, added some energy in the build, and then added some stuff on the drop. And essentially, this is with my live set in mind. I'm playing in Amsterdam in two weeks, so I got to prepare edits for it. This is what I got. Yeah, so essentially just like a grime type thing. I just thought the original was so cool. I wanted to add a little bit of elements and a build up to really get the anticipation high when you played out live. I just took the original, lowered it a little bit. I did pull a pull take EQ on the original just to pull a little bit off the sub um, forward in the mix. I then clipped the master and limited and saturated the master as you can see on these two. So that's what I did for the Lampsy edit thing that I'm working on. But I did want to play a little bit with my new Moog synthesizer here that I just got. Yeah, so here we are, I have this editor here. And essentially what I can do is just make presets in the software, switch and browse on the software here. And essentially it will switch the preset on the synth here, but listen to how this synth sounds.
put stuff on the channel strip here to say I wanted like a, a distortion. I can put the black box on, for example. So essentially I can just track with the black box on, which is like super helpful. Also the presets in here. Also, it has a randomized preset knob here, which is super fun. You can get some crazy ideas from this synth. But yeah, I'm gonna spend some time just playing with the synth here, creating some presets, and I will check in with you guys afterwards. So that's gonna conclude the vlog for today. Super chill day, ended up working late on some side project stuff. But I really hope you guys gained something from it, enjoyed the vlog, and yeah, let me know if I should keep these going. Peace. Baby, I'm a son on the beat.